Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10.5 series on the Temperate Planet with the Advanced Start. And we are about to... I think we're about to get attacked, actually. Let's take a look at that really quick. Yep, says soon. So as we wait for that to happen, we'll just jump in... Um, We'll jump in the fin fighter when that happens. So while we wait for that to happen, I want to keep working on everything. So I think the next step, before we upgrade this, I think we need to upgrade our HV now. It's time to, it's time to actually pay a little bit more attention to it and we're basically just going to multi-tool down and spawn in, spawn in something a little better here. So let's do that. So I named all the cargo now, So I, and I organized it all. It's not all scattered all over the place. Um, let's connect to the blocks, I believe is the big one. Yeah, let's connect to that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to multi-tool this thing down. So let's do that. Only t take a couple minutes. So before we do that, we've got to grab all of its stuff. Because I don't want to waste any of the fuel on that. So we'll just grab all that. We'll grab that. And whatever it's got in its ammo. Here, we'll just grab that personally. It doesn't matter. Nothing in the bridge. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. And fuel dumped. Oxygen dumped. Okay. Wow. What? We got a perfect zero. Oh, you know why? Because I think we've... Oh, there it is. There we go. We are under attack. What I should do is use my epic rifle and, like, try and snipe them <laughs> with my mega expensive railgun bullets. Okay, so, wow, it's coming in right away here. Let's see if we can get the... Uh... <laughs> well, I'm not going to say the uh, the rockets aren't cheap either. It's just a little cheaper than railgun bullets. Don't, don't need sathium or although magnesium's not all that easy to get. To tell you the truth, sathium's kind of easy. To tell you, oh, look at that goodies. Wow. I don't know why I jumped down. That's really silly. Normally I wouldn't do something like that. Because you never know what kind of critter could be down there without taking a look. But in my backyard here, it doesn't seem to have any spawns. So I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Um, anyway. So let's continue on with the bringing in a better HV. So we want to multi-tool down this. And let's make sure we have our, we're not connected anymore. So let's do that. Gonna go into the base, connect to blocks. Oh, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? Is let's 
Oh, is this turned on? That shouldn't... No, it's off. Okay. Um, let's connect to the salvage, because that's where I'm going to put all the ingot, or all the ore and other stuff that I want the deconstructor to destroy. And then we can just put that into the output, I think. Should be fine, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and then same, same thing, it'll just share the same. So salvage. And output. Okay. Well, I guess I could put them both into mats if I wanted, but I don't think mats is big enough to handle... A whole ton of stuff. I want to be a little, a little bit more selective. So now that we did that, I guess I could have stayed down there, but we do have a whole bunch of. Let's go to the base, and we're going to go to the salvage. Then we're going to go to the mats, and I could just start throwing all this stuff in there. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's. I got lots of fuel. Tons of fuel. Furnace won't do uh, promethium. That's why I didn't throw it in. Okay. I set it for ore. I don't see any more ore. Nope. Okay. And then also, we wanted to, um, to go to the blocks. We want to get rid of all these small thrusters. So we're going to deconstruct those. And what else do we want to deconstruct? Uh, I, I'm going to, you know, rocket launchers are pretty awesome. I'll probably throw that into a block. Uh, uh, do I wait? No, I don't really need it. I need the mats for it better. I need the mats for it actually more than anything. I mean, I could put it on, which would be kind of fun, but uh, I don't need it right now. Let's deconstruct. Uh, what else can we deconstruct? Large G. Uh, ooh, T2. See, technically. What I should be doing is, is I only got the one T1. Oh, well, that sucks. Okay. So I guess I'm going to be turning the T2 into my main generator for the ship then, which will be plenty. Which would be more than plenty. The, the single generator, the T2. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We'll go with a giant generator. <laughs> uh, that means that we could deconstruct this one then. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, do I need two hangar doors? Yeah, why not? We're going to do the T2 RCS. What else we got? CV, those RCS there. More. Right, so that's like, do I need that many? Probably not. 12? I think that's way too many. One T2 and six regulars is going to be plenty. Plenty. So let's, let's deconstruct these two. Okay. That's cool. Um... I think that's all I want to deconstruct. I don't think it'll deconstruct this. I want to keep that. Keep that. That's all going to be built to, or used to build it. Although I'm not really sure if I want laser turret on it. It's going to be a mining rig. It's not going to be a combat rig. You know what? Let's let's deconstruct it too. <laughs> uh, this extra large one we're going to deconstruct. And then T2 base, we're going to keep that. We'll make the console for that. Then we'll have a T2 base um, repair bay so that uh, we can repair everything. Um, okay.
Sweet. So now what we want to do, I want to go down to them. I want to physically go down to them and look at them. Really? Are you not going to... Oh, you stupid thing. Was that like a visual bizarroness or what the heck? <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, what we can do, as you can see, it's turned off, but it can't use the ore, but it can use this stuff, and it will. So we can turn that on, and it Im immediately starts deconstructing all those parts. And then we can turn the furnace on, and it'll start spitting out ore. So you can see all this stuff going into the output right now is basically just tons of mats it's going to be right now but that's okay excellent okay so there we go we've got our double whammy furnace and deconstructor going at the same time well that's going to drain us down real fast isn't it so we do have a few more panels to put up i wonder if we should do that really quick or if we should just concentrate on getting this multi-tool down I think and because we've got lots of fuel I just yeah that's the hover vessel I want that I want yeah I just I just hopped it up we're good for a while even with the furnace going I think we're we're good for a while we're fine we're fine here take that you can't take that yet that's fine yeah yeah okay so now oops Let's make sure that we are connected to blocks. That's fine then. Okay. So let's nuke this thing down. Tree. Leave the core for last. Take the drills. Take the guns. Take everything. And then once we've got this multi-tool, we'll try and get as much blocks and parts and everything that we need into the blueprint factory and get that spawned in. And that's basically what I'm hoping to achieve this episode. Okay, good, good, good. Just a little bit more. And the core. Okay. So now we can take all that crap that we just multi tooled down, put on our bar, so it's container extensions. The Gatling guns. Um, the HP thrusters. The cockpit. The drills. Uh, what else? What else? The hover engines. The RCS. The fridges and O2 stations. Okay, let's start throwing those in so I'm going to be spawning in the um, I think it's only 25k after they remodified the extension uh, con container extension um, sizes depending on what shape they are so right now and it's unlock of level 12 because they they switch the thruster jets to level 12 instead of level 10 so now it's a level 12 vehicle that's a little disappointing because it was nice bringing in at level 10 when you could bring in the drill first so it's it's a little it's a little disappointing um so now i kind of just wait until later game and bring it in as my end game miner okay uh which we're doing right now so let's do that we're gonna bring in 
all this stuff here and just throw it all in and you can see our time going down as we add all those components in well the, the mats for the components anyway excellent excellent so you can see huge chunks of time we're taking off by those all those blocks we're throwing in so let's keep doing that we've got uh, we want to grab all the SVHP stuff that we can find uh, although that's base also okay Uh, windows, regular windows, that's SVHV, CV, all right, fuel tanks and generator. stuff in there time coming down I don't know if we're gonna get sufficient time out of all these blocks we might have to dump some other stuff in here which I wanted to use for the CV so I'm a little oh still lots of HV parts here so we'll continue to throw those in anyway Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Stuff I'm going to be using for sure on the CV is pretty much all this stuff. <sighs> okay. really feel like making it again although we might have to add some now yeah, let's check out the hardened steel blocks that might be a and the regular steel let's do that okay so we first of all we'll just throw that in for good measure and the rest of these thrusters and SVHV only stuff. Okay, so now we'll get these sentry guns in. What do we need? We need um, over 100 sathium. So let's see what 44 do. Oh, it was almost there, right? Eh? That's not bad. And that dropped down the time quite a bit, too. Um... only need a couple more okay well that's good so the sathium is fulfilled silicone copper they need a lot iron quite a bit carbon substrate yeah they all need quite a bit and right now the um, output let's take a look at that let's take a look at what our outputs at Wow So there's the iron and copper. So let's just, uh, you know what? I hate throwing in ingots. It really s sucks. But I think that's what we're going to do probably in the uh, next episode. It'll be, or I'll just cut. That's what I'll do. Let's throw, let's, let's get this filled in. So we got, oh, look at all these optical fiber. Perfect. Electronics. All this stuff is great though. This stuff is fantastic. Yeah, okay. And then let's take a look at mats, what we can grab from mats. So 
we don't need any cobalt mechanical components that'll work let's see how much more we can get out of the steel plate we do need to make ammo so that steel plate will come in handy for that so we don't want to like necessarily use it all up okay so 277 wow that's some lot of optical fibers um, okay okay so let's take a look I'm gonna throw that in Ooh, quite a bit of silicone I did it a little bit a little bit more silicone and copper okay helps with the carbon substrate that's iron and iron and iron ooh the time is going down quite a bit well, seemed like it was maybe not okay um, Nope, we're getting close now. Here, we'll just, uh, don't want to use that up. I don't want to use that up. Let's, more steel plates. And, it's not going to need much. Not going to need much. Time was counting down a bit too. Okay, let's put this back. Uh, we're gonna need it was copper. Here we can grab that out of the output. So we can grab the copper and iron, and we can grab this stuff. It's still deconstructing, so it's all. Um, yeah, I wonder if we should just wait until it's finished deconstructing then. And that's probably not a bad idea. That way we don't over do anything too much. Uh, we're way off. I think we just gotta do it at 20 minutes. That's not bad. What else can we, we've got? So iron is done. Iron's done. The copper and silicone we need a ton of that so 300 and one more okay so the copper's done silicone doesn't need much let's put this back or actually here we'll put it in the mat throw this in a mat okay and then was it on to silicone yep okay so we'll grab that and then I it's not doing any more carbon substrate eh? so we'll have to make some of that that's fine uh, what do we need we need two just under 200 okay okay and carbon substrate we're gonna need 523 so Let's put this into our. You know what? We'll grab that whole thing. And then what we're going to do is. I'll probably end up just. You know what? Here. Let's go like this. Uh, yeah, we used up quite a bit of mats here. That was good. So we'll just uh, go like this. There we go. There we go. We're starting to get uh, organized here in our mats also. Um, 
not like we have a ton of mats, but we just got a bunch of arrestrums, ascosium. We don't have very much sapium, although we do have lots of flux coils and oscillators, so that helps. That helps a lot. Um, and the furnace is still cranking out. Okay. Well, that's cool. Let's make. Uh, we'll put an output. That's fine. Let's go to mats. And we need. It's like 500 and something, right? So that's going to be 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know. Well, this is going to be excellent. Let's see, what else are we going to be able to make afterward? So the medium thrusters take five oscillators and four flux coils. Oh, wow. The hard, we've got lots of hardened steel plates, don't we? I think. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're gonna be able to make a ton of medium thrusters then, so no problem. We'll be able to make us okay. The, the weather is super loud. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, okay. like this and yay 20 minutes okay so I'm going to cut here and as the storm rages outside wow well I guess the sun will be coming up soon so that'll be about when it's ready and we'll spawn it when the sun rises so i'll come grab you when it's ready okay we are back it is ready to go so let's do it and we'll get the spawned in here we back it up a bit here without falling off. Am I going to know? Okay. <laughs> we'll spawn it right out in front here. Actually, here. Let's spawn it. Uh, is it going to take damage? I don't think so. This isn't PvP. I don't think it'll take damage. I just don't want to deal with the, uh, the bug of the graphics of the shell of this right here stain so i'm gonna spawn it up here let it fall down and hopefully not blow up is that insane is it insane okay let's do it then and good call because now it's way up in the air and i don't have to deal with it <laughs> and i don't have to like re reset like i normally do hi you're hi okay so here we go. We got our whole mole. It, I believe here, let's see what it can do. We can just go into it here. It's ore and wood is 27. So just shy of 28. Well, not just shy, but just, just over 27. So not bad. It used to be 32, and they kept shaving it down with, like I was saying, with, with updates how much the extensions could hold if they were not a full block in size. So and it makes sense. That's fine. So it's down to 20, 27K is still quite a bit of uh, carrying capacity. If it's in block, if it's really heavy stuff, it 
it has difficulty with with like a full stack of blocks um, that occupy 32k. It'll pretty close to bottom out. It doesn't have really much thrust at that point and stuff. But if you if you put it on the you know if you if you link to it if you link to the container it's in and then put it in the bar it doesn't seem to take any weight. So that's cool. So let's get this thing. Um, ammoed up so we can just go into through the Wi-Fi so let's do that we've got ammo and that's on us isn't it <clears throat> yeah I put a bunch in here okay so it's got uh, you know almost 3500 that's not bad for now I also have the Not that. Let's go into here. We're going to grab this. And put that on the back. We're going to remove the turrets. The turret that is up there. So let's just spawn our drone. Okay. <clears throat> We'll take the whole block. Let's get our radar up here. So the reason I'm doing the back one is because the front one I want for firing, for shooting. Gun. <laughs> I don't want it at the back. Uh, and because how you got to deal with the, uh, the interface of the tool turret for the HV, it doesn't really matter if it's at the back, I found. Is you got to position around and then and then get into the turret. So you're pretty much stopping and concentrating on that anyway. So it doesn't really matter if it's at the back, because you just back up to face what it you know get the direction you want to do it right. So that is what I want, right? The multi turret. Yeah, I want the multi turret. Okay, and actually I wouldn't mind spinning that around and just look weird. It'll look weird. It's just that it'll uh, it'll be easier when it pops out to be facing the right direction. That's fine. So there we go. Actually, that doesn't look weird with the other turret facing straight up up the center. <laughs> that turret out. That turret. That's almost symmetrical and and how the turrets uh, go. That's okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Um, so perfect. Now we have a tool turret for multi-tooling down all of those husks of stuff. And then, I mean, realistically, what I should do and what we will do, what we are going to do and what I'm going to do right now <laughs> is we're not going to take that out. I'm, I'm not going to take that out today. And we probably won't even take it out tomorrow. I think we won't be taking it out for till we actually have this next thing built. Um, let's take a look at our mats. Now, go to the output. Oh, wow. All the cobalt got smelted. I don't think we need that much. Should we, um, what should we do with that? I don't think, oops. Yeah, we can only fit another 16k. And what was in the output? Oh, for you know what? We can put it all in a mat. Let's do that until you know. That's fine. Whatever. It's all mats, really, anyway, right now. Uh, okay. So that's a lot of cobalt. <laughs> Don't really need that much, but wow, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, six K right now, really in cobalt. Yeah, we don't really need that much. I don't know why I have so much cobalt. That's just weird. Oh, it was from the um, the other asteroid, right? That cobalt asteroid. Well, okay, so there you go. We got six K out of that freaking thing. Holy crap. Um. 
so what are we making? What are we making? We are making. Let's take a look. And actually, you know what? First of all, do we have any points? Yes, we do. So we're doing capital vessel. Um, oh, I really, I really need to unlock that. That's. I don't need to unlock that right now. That is sufficient for now. Ooh, that's only five points, really? Yeah, okay. Let's do that. <clears throat> we'll do the large thrusters. I might do one on each side going down. Rocket turrets, boarding ramps. Uh, okay, ramps. Yeah, we'll do ramps. I picked a lot of the other stuff now. The repair bay. Let's do that. Let's do that. We can get that at least installed, built. Hopefully, I don't know if I, I if I have all the mats for this stuff, but we'll see. I'm not sure if we'll be able to make two large thrusters. We'll try. We've got the one T2 generator. I don't think we need to learn it right now. We can't anyway. Okay. So what do we got for weapons here? We got the minigun. If we want to make its ammo, we're going to have to choose it. Pulse Rifle T2. Uh, I've already made the T2 rocket launcher. That's usually all I really do. And the T2 laser are the two things. And then a laser rifle to make the ammo. So, meh. That's next level. I've got a T2 multi-tool. I could learn it, but it's kind of a waste of points. Because <clears throat> it's like once you have one, you never lose it really, unless you die. I guess if you die, yeah. Well, if you die, you lose everything really, except for your armor. Um, I don't know. You know what? We'll just we'll hang on to these 19 points for if we need something, right? Okay. So let's build what we can. We want a CV warp drive, right? We don't have one for sure, right? I mean, we I'm pretty sure we don't. This is all our blocks. I went through all of our cargo completely and we just used up a bunch so we're at one two three four five five almost almost six full stacks of medium thrusters two more and there would be six in every direction that's pretty damn good we've got an advanced constructor already for it and the the rcs so we don't need to make a lot what we need is, and we've got the generator, what about fuel tanks? We've got some, enough to fly, definitely, oxygen, yeah, so, I mean, we don't need to make a lot, we don't need to make a lot, we've got not a lot of combat steel blocks, and not a lot of hardened steel either, so that's a problem right now we're gonna to have to go use the HV to go get all those blocks and that's what I was that's why I wanted to put that get this HV in and and get that turret on it and that's because next episode we're gonna go grab a bunch of that and show you how that works and uh, because we have all these POIs we popped right or was it have we done the old tank station? I'm pretty sure we did that. And these crash capital vessels, I can like multi tool right down. And get all their blocks. They're not that far from here. So I think. Still got water generators over there? Okay. Crash DSC mid is there. I don't think it had the blocks we're looking for. I think it was all iron. I think these two uh, crash capital vessels are what I'm looking for. Especially 
this one? Did I take it all? I don't think I took it all. I'd have to dig it up now, right? Um, yeah. So I think we're going to take the HV there and multi-tool those next episode. So, yeah. Until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.